Welcome to the Healthy Joints, Healthy Lifestyle show, to show. Today, we are going to talk about peripheral neuropathy and how that can be related to an autoimmune disease called Sjogren's. My name is Dr. Arinola Dada, and I help people dealing with autoimmune disease get their immune system back on track. So let's talk about peripheral neuropathy. So peripheral neuropathy can present, and it sounds like a long name, basically peripheral, like your peripheries, neuropathy is something wrong with your nerves. Okay, so peripheral neuropathy can be due to many things, you know, everything from vitamin B12 deficiency, lots of things can cause peripheral neuropathy. But today I want to talk to you about the fact that it can be due to an autoimmune disease known as Sjogren's. Sjogren's is an autoimmune disease, as you know, because you've been listening to me, autoimmune disease are where the immune system is overzealous and goes a little haywire and starts to affect different parts of the body. For people with Sjogren's, it's usually dry eyes, dry mouth, because the immune system attacks the glands in the eye, also attacks the glands in the mouth. So people end up having dry eyes and dry mouth. But then in some people, they can also be, it can also attack the nerves, especially the peripheral nerves, very commonly in the feet. So people have either neuropathic pain where they have ongoing dull, pain constant irrespective of what they're doing um, and they can also have numbness and tingling in the nerves so what do you do well talking to your doctor will be one of them describing the symptoms especially if you have dry eyes and dry mouth your doctor may send you to someone and they can do nerve conduction studies and when they do those nerve studies they basically stimulate the nerves to the feet and when they stimulate the nerves to the feet they can record that and they can see if there's some ongoing abnormality in the nerves and when that happens they will say okay now you have a diagnosis of peripheral neuropathy but then what then they'll run a number of blood test to kind of rule out other things and so they'll check your b12s they may check for any abnormal protein levels and then they may also check for autoimmune diseases a lot of times they'll do like this autoimmune screening but the presence of an ssa sam sam adam ssb sam sam boy the presence of those antibodies are strongly suggestive of a condition called Sjogren's. and when you have that diagnosis then at least you then you can compartmentalize the symptoms and then potentially follow with the rheumatologist. Over the years, we've had a very difficult time treating people with Sjogren's, but this is now an exciting time. So if you're having issues with dry eyes, dry mouth, numbness in your feet, sometimes the dryness occurs like in any any mucosa area of your body where you where you can imagine has moistness so it's your mouth it's your throat it's basically your gastrointestinal system and also your genital areas especially for women you may have a lot of vaginal dryness and also have painful sex so a lot of symptoms that are associated with with Sjogren's so if you're having any of the symptoms talk to your doctor because they can run this panel very easily just an autoimmune screening panel and if they find that then they should refer you to a rheumatologist because in the past there was really no good treatment we just used to put people on a medication called hydroxychloroquine because we really didn't have a lot of options we would kind of also tell people hey um you know hydration is still very important good oral hygiene using um using um anti um using um you know biotin mouthwash uh, making sure that you're using artificial um um, eye drops, um, but uh, but don't have preservatives in them, making sure you have a humidifier. All these things are very helpful and you still continue doing them. But if you're having peripheral neuropathy, it's very difficult to treat that. So that would be one indication for you to say, hey, I'm still having these issues with peripheral neuropathy and perhaps they need, those symptoms need to get treated by a rheumatologist. So thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. Follow, like, share this video. Um, my name is Dr. Aminola Dada, and thank you for watching Healthy Joints, Healthy Life.